What up everyone, it's your boy Mina Lewis and welcome to this week of Fake Ass YouTubers. Okay, we got a lot of drama to spill and this is the name that you guys voted for, really. Now you put me in a box. You got This is the first drama, okay? I, I had it with you guys, okay? The name that you guys voted on, really? This week in fake ass YouTubers, I'm talking about nice things too. You put me in a box, but maybe it's a good box and maybe that's what you want to see. But I wanted to talk about good ish too, you know? Not just fake bitches. Shit. Sometimes drama doesn't involve fake bitches. Sometimes it just involves miscommunication. So, you calling those people fake when they're not? You feel me? I don't know about this name, but this is what you guys voted for. I think we should do a redraw, and I spelt messy leftovers, and plus you guys trying to make me look bad by giving me messy leftovers. What type of shit is that? Now let's get to the other drama instead of my third world YouTube problem drama. Now last week I spoke about Neek and King saying knew they were pregnant since December. So why is she drunk in January if she knows she's pregnant? Because they're not pregnant. It's fake. So I was totally wrong. It's not fake. It's actually legit. She is pregnant. She is pregnant. Like I said, I never hated on them or anything like that. I love them. I'm happy that they weren't faking-ish. And they better not be faking-ish, alright? Because I'm watching you guys now. I'm subscribed to you. If I find out you're doing fake shit, it's over with me. Now for the next drama. On the first Friday episode that I did two weeks ago, um, a lot of you guys were basically asking me on you now if Peter Mind and Heath Latee are friends. And honestly, I just wanted to know if it was people trolling and it was consistent. So I was like, oh my god, I'm just going to ask him. I legit ignored it for a while, okay? He's an adult, okay? I think Pete, well, I thought at that time Peter had a little bit more credibility and he could be like, Oh yeah, we're friends. Or he can say, nah, we're not friends. We respectfully disagreed on something and we're moving on. Um, it's We're not trying to make this a drama or anything. We're just respectfully going our own way. And cool, you know, he could have easily answered something like that. So last week, I believe it was last week, you guys were hitting me up saying, he for the tea, dragged Peter Mon, blah, blah, blah. And I was like... Really? Uh, this again? Are you guys trolling me? Like, <laughs> I honestly thought people were just trolling me, okay? Or just thinking something that wasn't, you know? Which most likely probably was the case. But anyway, I end up asking Peter Mon, is it true that he for the tea dragged you? Just a simple question, okay? I was just curious. I wanted to know. So I asked him while he was on his stream. Well, he kind of flipped and turned it into like something else. Hi, people saying, uh, why are people, you know, Martin, I just want to say this, okay? While I have you on here live, I consider you a friend, but you never just message me and say things like, hey, how are you doing, Peter? Or like, hey, I really enjoyed your video, or what's going on with you? Like, I haven't talked to you in a while. You You always just come right out and um, ask the question that you want, feel like you need to know to go report on something or talk about it in a live stream. I don't ever talk about you in my live streams. I don't ever talk about your business. I don't ever come to you and ask you for statements on the drama and all that kind of stuff. From, he's basically implying that what I did was wrong, okay? Even though Peter Mon talks about people, hello, he's a freaking commentary, drama channel, whatever you want to call it, he talks about people too. The hypocrisy was so strong that you now broke. Okay, it didn't break, but you know. Um, I have no idea what Sam said in a live stream about me. I gave you a statement for your video. That's what I have to say, so... And the first time I did ask him is because he can diffuse it. Like, people are saying all oh, this ish. You can easily be an adult and be like, okay, we're not friends anymore, but, you know, we agreed to disagree and go our own directions. We wish the best for each other. You know what I mean? You don't have to do this whole ish of we're friends. Like, you just got what you don't want. 
people going at you getting, oh, well, you're lying because you said you were friends. Later on after that stream, I end up tweeting, time to think about this, since you made it a public thing at Peter, because Peter did make it a public thing that I'm not messaging him or asking him how he is or whatever, you was wrong. You never asked how I am in a while, so for you to get upset over something so silly was wrong on your behalf. And it really was. It was wrong on his behalf. Like, why are you going to get upset over something you don't do? Peter ended up messaging me after that and said, I'm not going to get in an argument over what I said last night. I'm sorry if you thought I was upset and if I don't ask you how you're doing. Uh, it sounded like you were upset. Why else would you bring that up? Because you're happy? You brought it up because you're upset, bruh. All I was attempting to say was that I think it would be nice if all of us made an attempt to be friendly to each other, not just ask for receipts. Uh, no buddy, N now you're trying to like, what's it called? Excuses, not excuses. Justify the way you acted on that stream. You're trying to act to justify it. <laughs> you didn't say all of us, you said me, okay? You said me at the start of that stream. I don't know if you said it later on when we were debating or whatever, but I know at the start you met, it definitely was about me. I hope that makes sense. I wasn't really trying to start anything. And I don't think he was trying to start anything. I just think he was hurt and upset for no reason. He probably wanted to lash out on me or make everyone think about something else instead of him and here for the tea situation it was just really really stupid the way he acted and for the record Martin if I haven't been a better friend in the past I apologize I'm trying to do a better job at getting along with everyone I'm not perfect but I'm trying to be better so that was his response do I hate Peter I don't hate Peter I just think what he did was really stupid he could have handled it a lot lot better okay now it does turn out he for the T isn't friends with Peter she made a subtweet saying end of the day I know I was a good friend I spent hours and hours of my own time trying to help and be there for you when you felt like the world was closing in on you. You were not a good friend to me and by the way, you're not a good friend to D. D for Dustin. Okay, he's not talking about, she's not talking about the friend downstairs. Hope the betrayal was worth it. Let this be a lesson. You have one friend who has been loyal as F to you, yet you never stand up for him the way he's done for you time and time again. Don't let what happened between us happen between you guys. Now, just to confirm she was talking about Peter, she said this on you now. Play it. I know in my heart, I know I was a friend to Peter. I tried to help him. I I don't care what anybody says. That whole, When that whole thing was going on, I helped get that shit together on Twitter where the beauty influencers started, started retweeting and stuff like that. And, Barely any of them followed him before. She also implied that their friendship was always about him. But I know in my heart that I was a good friend to him. I know that I spent time out of my day, every single day, speaking to him on the phone about his own f about his own ideas that he wanted. Always about his own shit, not about mine. It was always, what video can I do? today? What video should I make today? What this should I do today? It was that's. That's all it was. It was n honestly never about me. She said she had some things that can shock you guys. If I was a real, if I was the piece that everybody thinks I am, I could really blow the lid off this situation. I really could. I could show you things that you would be shocked. I'm not quite sure what Peter did, but apparently it was something that was a big slap in her face, and judging by the subtweet, it was some type of betrayal. Direct slap in my face. After everything that I did, this was a direct slap in my face. Also, he for the T said some shit about me, but I really don't have time to, you know, address someone who acts like they're in high school, but if you really want me to address this shit she said about me on that broadcast, give this video a thousand likes and um, I'll do it. 
Now for the next drama. Okay, so a lot of people are saying that Chris Sales stole a song from DJ Chose. I don't know how many times I keep on getting these messages that Chris Sales stole someone's song. And I'm like, God damn, this is old. You guys still don't know the truth. As you guys know, Chris Sales had a new song. Supposed to be me and you. Real niggas still believe in you. I don't care cause he was seeing you. I'ma let you go like that. So he basically made that song, and people found that a guy named DJ Chose had the same song as Chris Sales. It's supposed to be me. But it turns out that um he didn't steal it. In fact, there is evidence if you look on DJ Chose's Instagram somewhere, there are pictures of them working together, okay? So he did not steal the song. And hey guys, I now your guilty pleasure, so make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in another drama video.